What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I'm back with another video. This is the rundown, talking about some of boxing's hottest topics. Late last night, news broke that Floyd Money Mayweather will be coming out of retirement, kinda, to face Tenshin Nuwaski. Um, it risen 14 in Japan, December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. What is unclear is if he's going to be fighting um, Nowoski in a MMA bout, a kickboxing bout, or a boxing match. At 41 years old, it best be a boxing match or Floyd Mayweather is going to suffer his first career defeat um, in any combat sport. You know, he's undefeated uh, in boxing, but MMA, kickboxing, wrestling is still a combat sport. And Floyd has said that he can do a little bit of wrestling, but he can do a lot of bit of boxing, which is true. And I haven't got a chance to see Tenshin, uh, Tenshin fight. I've seen a few highlights, and he knocked out um, Rear Narga, uh, a lower weight champion um, who retired from boxing, but who has wins over uh, McRoy Williams and a few other big name uh, lower weight uh, fighters in the sport of boxing. He's 20 years old. Um, the weight differential is substantial. Floyd uh, is a natural, well, at this point, a welterweight. He walks around around 147, 150. Doesn't really fluctuate his um his weight at all. And Tishin, I believe, is a 128-pounder. And so it's going to be very interesting. I doubt that Floyd will actually agree to fight this guy in his own combat sport. Floyd is going to get the shit beat out of him if that happens. And yes, he's going to get paid well for it, but we've seen how this shit can take place. And, and Floyd is all a bit, he's, he's big on hitting it, not getting hit. You know, recently a 49-year-old former boxer uh, just died. I think it was last night. He he, he was announced to uh, die. He was in a um, like kickboxing Muay Thai uh, match. And he, he passed out or, or he got knocked out or something like that, and he died. So, I mean, this is a dangerous slope uh, that he, he he's going down if he agrees to fight uh, tension in his own type of fucking field. If it's kickboxing, MMA, he's going to lose. He's going to get kicked in the head, kicked to the body, kicked to the shin. He gonna get choked out. He gonna uh, break something. It, it, it can be all bad for Floyd, and people are wanna know. Well, Floyd must be broke or this and that. I mean, I, I don't really care. You know, one way or the other. You know, it could be because we know he lives a, an extravagant lifestyle. Uh, his kids live an extravagant lifestyle. Um, he's always out of the country. Jets, private jets, big mansions. You know, and he he spends a lot of money. He bets on sporting events so he definitely uh spends as much as he makes um when he gets the money but you know floyd mayweather moves the meter um just like that that announcement it wasn't that he was gonna fight Errol spence or keith thurman or manny pacquiao it was he's fighting ten shin nosaki um you know in a fight that's gonna take place over there in japan on new year's eve man but this guy ten shin is 20 years old he's gonna come to, to put a hurting on Floyd, man. And Floyd better have, you know, made this strictly boxing. You know, uh, you can't respect him if he did agree to a little kickboxing, a little wrestling. Um, respect him getting out of his element. But at 41 years old, he's 21 years older than this guy, Tenshin. And, I mean, if it's not boxing, man, he's going to get his ass whooped. But obviously, Floyd is egotistical. Um, he has to have the spotlight. He has to be the center of attention. He just can't get out of his own way. You would think as he's gotten older, he would uh, wisen up and, and kind of release that grip, you know, you know, soften that grip or loosen that grip on uh, on boxing. He has a choke. He has a on choco, even when he's not fighting, you know, because he's a promoter. He, he's still associated with Al Heyman. You know, he's the promoter of Javante Davis, Badu Jack, um, you know, he's been speculated to fight Manny Pacquiao in a rematch sometime next year. So, I mean, he's just spotlight driven. And this could finally be some karma. A lot of people want to see Floyd get his ass beat. You know, they really do. They don't like Floyd for various reasons. 
whether he's braggadocious, outside of the ring issues, just his personality, some of the things he said, the way he's going, been, you know, he's going by uh, picking his opponents. A lot of people want to see him get get his ass beat, and they could very well see this. Hell, even if it is a boxing match. At 41 years old, he hasn't been in the ring since last year when he defeated Conor McGregor via 10th round uh, TKO um, in, a fir in a fight that was really a farce of a fight because prior to that fight with Mayweather, Conor McGregor didn't have any boxing experience, amateur or, um, you know, professional. Or I, I don't know about amateur. He might have had some amateur, but he hasn't had it. He didn't have any um, as a professional. So that fight played out how it played out. But, hell, even if it's a straight-up boxing match, I still favor Floyd. But those reflexes were clearly lacking in the fight with Conor McGregor. And that was a year ago. Now, this is a year later. Um, and, uh, and he owed him, you know. So, we'll see. One thing about Floyd, he, he does keep himself in tremendous shape year-round. He does take every uh, opponent seriously. He doesn't harm his body. He doesn't put anything in it that doesn't need to be in there. And he's a student of the game, you know. And, We'll see come December 31st how he looks. Um, but like I said, it has yet to be, you know, clarified what will be the rules of this match. All I know is that he will be taking on Ten Shin Kowasiki or Konasi. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Japanese fighter. Um, you know, December 31st, New Year's Eve. Next topic, man. Danny Garcia gave his thoughts on Mikey Garcia. Who's close to being? Uh, who's close to finalizing a fight that will see him move up 12 pounds to 147 from lightweight, uh, 135 to face IBF welterweight titleist Era of the True Spence um, in either February 16th or the 23rd of next year? And pretty much, Danny is in the same class or, or the same side of when people feel like you know. Spence is just too big. Spence is just too, too big for Mikey, who started his career off at um, 122, you know what I'm saying? Or 126, excuse me. Um, for a guy that is Spence, who's fought in the amateurs at 154, I believe, and he's fought a few fights as a professional at junior middleweight, like at 152. He's the bigger guy. He's the taller guy. He's the stronger guy. Now, skill-wise, Mikey Garcia, I believe, is a better guy, a better fighter skill-wise. Um, he's a better counter puncher. Uh, he's very accurate. Uh, has good hand speed, good foot placement, good jab. And, you know, he, he's much more experienced than Errol Spence on this professional level. Um, but, you know, that size strength and the skills that, you know, Errol himself possess is going to make it tough. Um, but I just find it ironic that this Garcia is the one that is about to fight Errol instead of Danny. Danny is a two division weight champ, you know, world champion, former two division champion, you know, unified junior welterweight champion, um, former WBC welterweight champion. Has been in the ring with Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, uh, Amir Khan, Zab Judah, Eric Morales twice, uh, Lucas Matisse, uh, Robert Guerrero, just to name a few guys. So you think that he would be willing um, to step up in the ring and get a title opportunity? Um, against Errol Spence, but that is not the case. Um, I made a video yesterday reporting from 3kingsboxing.com that he's on the winner of the Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner fight that is going to take place next year, uh, January 19th. And, I mean, you, you would just think that Danny would want that fight. Spence has called him out numerous times, um, like he's been calling out Porter and Keith Thurman, but nobody has, has, has took the bait. And now you got a lightweight um, who's willing to dare to be great to come up and, you know, face Errol Spence. And Danny was saying that. I don't I don't know where he mentally, where he, how he is mentally. How he is mentally, Danny, is that he uh, believes in his abilities. He sees something in Spence that he's, uh, that he believes he can exploit and that he's willing to actually do. That's the difference between Mikey and y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mikey uh, does get a lot of flock, flack for uh, clout chasing or name dropping. Uh, but he, if this fight with um, Spence does go through, um, this is him shutting up the naysayers, shutting up the critics who just accuse him of calling out all these big name fighters. Uh, and 
to end up fighting somebody less uh in lesser caliber caliber of fighter. So I think that um it'll be interesting to see once this the deal is done how um Mikey Garcia transforms his body in preparation for a twelve pound gain. I imagine he probably weigh about one forty two, four forty three, wanna keep some type of speed about himself and be able to move and be elusive um from spits. But you know, he's gonna have to start lifting weights as well. Um that's one thing that he doesn't do, um, and he's admitted that he doesn't lift weights, but for this fight, he's going to have to lift weights. He's going to have to, you know, increase the muscle mass um, intelligently in a smart way, get with a good nutritionist and, and personal trainer, and help him, you know, actually uh, go in this belt physically, you know, up to par, because I think mentally he's always in, in tune with each and every fight and each and every opponent. So I'm not worried about the, the mental aspect. I'm worried about the physical because if he can't take those body shots or, or those head shots, this fight won't be, um, it won't go past three rounds, you know? But, um, you know, those are my top thoughts, man. I'm gonna draw some more videos today. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button to get notified every time I upload new content. Head over to Facebook, smack that like button on the Colossal Box and Talk Facebook page. Uh, I'll put all my links to my other social media accounts in the description box down below. Shout out to the movement and everybody that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be. Until next time, I am out. Peace.